How's it going you guys and welcome to your morning cup. Now apart from the pandemic, the year 2021 has brought around a few changes that the world as a whole has not been well prepared for, for lack of a better terminology. We are under awestruck, we are under shock, we are still under recovery from the pandemic, but the seismic activity has been slowly ramping up since the 1980s. What various geological departments across the spectrum and across various aspects of regions and life are dictating is the fact that seismic activity is ramping up at a scale and at a pace at which we cannot keep up with it. And 2021 has been the biggest example of that. Well, we've seen from the starting of this year, and it's only February, that we have faced more than 10 significant impact zones in terms of earthquake epicenters. We've seen the earthquakes that have hit the middle of the Pacific Ocean Basin that have well sparked tsunami warnings for numerous islands as well as for two major nations like New Zealand and Australia. We've seen major seismic activity under the plate tectonics of Eurasia as well as under the plate tectonics of South America. And when we look at the larger scale of things in this scenario, we understand the fact that this seismic activity is directly resulting in volcanic activity and any and all volcanic activity is going to be devastating for the planet what we understand today is the fact that people cannot just merely get out of their houses and run away because of covid people are strictly bound to their homes strictly bound to their premises and well any or all resources that people could have garnered over the pandemic have been stored in one particular place and an impact as a volcanic eruption or as a significant earthquake only dictates one thing that we as a species are not prepared for what might come next. You see, we've seen a bunch of significant rises in terms of volcanic activity. We've seen the Guatemala incident wherein three separate volcanoes erupted at the same time. We've seen Indonesia where its threat to its volcanic eruptions are being ever more prevalent. What we're also witnessing is the fact that there are numerous other volcanoes that are currently being monitored left, right and center because of fears that if an all-out volcanic eruption cycle ensues, we're looking at the Pacific Ring of Fire. Now the Pacific Ring of Fire, for those of you that aren't aware, is a chain of volcanoes. And this chain of volcanoes not necessarily is above sea level, but is prevalent nevertheless. And the issue with this ring of fire is the fact that if one of these results in an eruption, it's going to directly result in all of them erupting at the same time. And the issues don't stop with the people in the regions that are surrounding the ring of fire. The issues go further to the people of every single place on the planet because of the sheer amount of atmospheric disturbances that are going to occur. We're looking at geological storms the likes of which we haven't witnessed. We're looking at atmospheric deterioration, the likes of which we haven't witnessed. The amount of sud and the amount of dust and ash and spew that's going to be in the atmosphere is going to make everything unbearable. You see, the masks that we currently don are cloth masks to prevent viruses. But cloth masks do not help you with ash. Cloth masks do not help you to breathe through contaminated air, the likes of which we are going to be witnessing if an all-out eruption cycle ensues. Upon further research, we also understand the fact that the most recent add-on to this chain and this array of eruptions has been Mount Etna in Italy. Now, Mount Etna in Italy has erupted to no one's avail. No one saw this coming. You see, most of us in terms of our geological departments of our nations and the World Geological Association as a whole, as a collective, has always been monitoring situations. But the pandemic has affected every single aspect of our lives. Every single industry has been hit, including research centers, including scientific databases. And because of which we are being blindsided by certain activities that we would have otherwise caught coming. We would have otherwise had the time to prepare for. But we are looking at a place and a time in history wherein we are, well, sitting duck. We are just merely witnessing what might come next to us. With this pandemic still raging on the way that it is, we understand the fact that with seismic activity always being prevalent. And we're looking at upwards of 16 major earthquakes that hit the earth every single year. That's a seismic fact. That happens every single year. But this time, we're looking at seismic activity being ramped up substantially. 
going as far as the United States National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration dictated that subsequent rise in the frequency of seismic activity has been noted and is continued to be noted the pattern that they have found is just suggesting that things are going to get worse things are going to get ramped up what we understand by this is the fact that volcanic activity and earthquakes might just be the new norm certain regions are more susceptible to earthquakes than others and that we are very well aware of but now we're at a point in which any earthquake that results in a ginormous volcanic eruption the likes of which we're witnessing time and time again in the year 2021 we might all be susceptible there and god forbid if the list of the super volcanoes that are currently in play if any one of them erupts those are called continent killers for a reason and sadly the north american continent as well as the south american continent are riddled with super volcanoes you see the super volcanoes quotient is always a threat is always in play and scientists as well as geologists have always labeled those as the biggest threat to humanity except for an asteroid or a meteor that might crash into the earth and wipe us all clean you see a pandemic is very dangerous for us and that is very much prevalent we understand that we are making our way to get through it. We're taking the right steps to it. The vaccine drives are already underway. Soon you and I as a regular people will be able to go out and get the vaccine and be substantially immune to the coronavirus for as long as we have the effects of the vaccine that are taking place. But an earthquake that triggers a ginormous volcanic eruption that might follow with a tsunami that might follow with the sheer plate tectonic movement that might generate furthermore earthquakes that might completely disintegrate the composition of the atmosphere that might completely pollute your everyday breathing cycles just because of volcanic eruptions and the worst part is if there is a trickle down effect if there is a chain reaction effect it is quickly going to get out of hand to the point in which we will not be able to do anything about it except for maybe running away as far as we possibly can except for maybe harboring ourselves the best that we possibly can it always puts us in a predicament wherein we as a civilization are going to be at the mercy of mother nature just like we always have been you see technological leaps have been made to the point in which we have rovers on mars we've got helicopters on mars we are monitoring deep space missions we've got the hubble telescope in space that's looking at millions of light years away and that is all very incredible as a species to be able to accomplish but the threats that we are facing as a civilization here on the earth today are going to be always prevalent and these threats can't just be brushed under the rug and hoped and prayed upon that nothing ever happens that can cause a significant damage as a, as a species as a civilization and we must endure what might come to us we must be aware of what might come to us and the most prevalent thing that we notice as a civilization today is the lack of information people just aren't aware of the fact that you are at the mercy of mother nature to the levels at which you can't comprehend you believe that the pandemic wiped everyone's worlds clean and that is why we all are aware of it but this slow and steady ramping up of seismic activity that has resulted in volcanic activity rise that has resulted in tsunami warning rises no one knows about them until and unless a tsunami actually hits until and unless a volcano actually erupts and disrupts lives and affects people affects societies and civilizations that is when we start to care that is when we start to know that is when awareness starts to spread and that is just not going to be the case in the future because our reaction times are going to get slower and the activities are going to get faster. With that, we understand that there is a lot that the world has to offer. And if we aren't aware as a civilization, we are going to be awestruck time and time again with little to no reaction time. And it's our responsibility as a species, as a conscious being, to always be in the know-how of things. And if you share the same sentiments as me and believe that we as a species need to have a collective front in terms of understanding that the importance and the significance of knowledge is going to be of the utmost priority in the future, then stay tuned to this space and I'll do my best to make sure that you guys are aware of whatever the world has to offer. Until then, this has been your morning cup. I'll see you tomorrow.